This year, 2022, has been a big challenge throughout Africa because of the steep, steep increases in the price of food. Anything made with wheat, anything made with maize, or with uh, vegetable oil, prices have gone way up. The expectation is that TAT, along with the entire ecosystem, of uh, participants in agriculture. This means ministries of agriculture, it means uh, the private sector, uh, the national agriculture research systems, along with TAT, need to work together to quickly increase the productivity of farmers. And this can be done by focusing on seeds and fertilizer and policies. These are the three main components that we can work on aggressively and quickly to increase productivity of farmers across the continent. What I mean by that is, you know, TAT is the Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation. So our preparedness is that we have excellent technologies for the key crops and livestock. I'm talking about maize, rice, soybean, cassava, poultry, and small livestock like goats and sheep. We have excellent technologies that can quickly double, triple the yields that farmers are getting. And again, this will require that they have the best breeds or varieties of crops, the best breeds of livestock, that they have the best um, management practices whether it's the feeds for the livestock or the fish, or it's the fertilizer and the good agronomic practices. And that's what we need. We need to quickly increase the productivity of farmers so that we, um, so that we can eliminate or at least greatly reduce poverty and uh, malnutrition in the rural areas where that's where, the, that's where youth now find life so difficult that they actually are influenced by the wrong forces and start uh, yeah, causing trouble. But when the youth of Africa can have a, a good life because they have the best agriculture practices, they can have good incomes, they can have good life, and they'll never even think about uh, causing trouble with the, uh, with the uh, radical groups.